Hey guys, it's Maggie and I am back today. And today I wanted to share with you about the UOAA conference. This is the conference that we went to in August in Houston. That was really the thing that we surrounded our whole road trip around. It took me a few weeks to kind of collect my thoughts about it. If you're unfamiliar, the UOAA, United Ostomy Association of America, I think it's actually Associations of America, um, is an organization for ostomates. They have so many wonderful resources. They have ostomy education. They have a list of support groups on there. Um, they have a list of WOCNs, I believe, because I think I tried to use that when I was in WOCN school for half a second. They do the national conference every two years, although this one was the first in four years uh, because of you know why. <laughs> Then they do regional conferences as well. Um, so if you're interested in checking them out, they are at ostomy.org. It did take me a few weeks to, um, to just think about the conference and process it and all that good stuff. I think <sighs> there are people that go to the conference to socialize and see their friends again, which is, you know, I did that. There are also people that go that are in really hard places. They might be early on with their ostomy and they're trying to learn. And I think sometimes when you go to these conferences and it's two or three days straight of just being immersed in the health struggles that you experience, whether or not you're currently experiencing them, you're immersed in it and it's a lot, it's a lot. Um, I don't know if everybody experiences this, but I, I definitely do. And I'm also the type of person that, you know, the social battery, I totally believe in that. Mine runs out pretty quick. Um, I am not an extrovert by any means. And by the last day of the conference, I just, it was, it was too much. <laughs> so I kind of just, you know, quieted down. Thank goodness Zach doesn't seem to have a social battery issue and can just keep going, going, going. Um, so he took over for me. I'm very thankful that he was there, but it's a lot when all you're talking about is ostomies, 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 and disease and hard things that you've experienced in your life and you don't necessarily focus on all day every day. So anyways, that's why it took me a little bit for this video, but I want to share what it was like going to this conference because it is amazing and you learn so much and you meet so many people. It really is an incredible experience and highly recommend that if you can go in the future, whether it be the national conference or maybe a regional conference, definitely go. We also have to remember that this was part of our road trip. So we arrived kind of late. We were coming from Louisiana. We were coming from New Orleans and we arrived, I want to say maybe like 10.30 or 11 at night, but the process of getting into the hotel, first of all, we had two dogs we were bringing. We have basically a jail cell of a crate that we have to cart in. We had so much stuff that we were bringing in because this was our longest stay anywhere. So we were, we were bringing it all in and the hotel was super fancy. <laughs> um, so I just, we felt like the weirdos bringing in all of our junk and our dogs <laughs> and the parking garage was kind of far away um so by the time we got into our hotel room it was it was late and we basically just passed out the next morning though was the first day of the conference Zach slept in for the opening ceremonies. I went to it because I wanted to see familiar faces. I had only seen a couple at that point, um, and I got to see so many people that I haven't seen in years. They had the color guard come in. Um, Nate, one of my friends, sang the national anthem, and then they had Megan Cherry, who is a previous Miss Texas, speak about her story with ulcerative colitis, I believe it is, and um, you know her experience with an ostomy. She had it temporarily, but she did have to go through that. She was really sick while she was doing all the Miss Texas stuff, and I couldn't even imagine because appearance is everything in that. Like, it's enough to be feeling terrible, but also have to pretend like 
it's not happening on the outside? No. The same day, a little bit later on, for when Zach was finally awake, <laughs> we went to the conference and got to see Rolf Banerska. Um, he is somebody that I've been in contact with for many years. I actually won the Great Comebacks Award that he did with Convitec back in college. So I remember him calling me and, you know, telling me, hey, you won this scholarship, and then him asking me, like, do you even know what team I play for? <laughs> do you even know who I am? Um, wasn't a huge football fan, so no, I was not aware, but now I am. He is a wonderful person, and so Zach and I actually got to film a video for something that he is starting up. Um, so Zach took a little bit of footage of me in front of the cameras. It was really cool, but Zach got to share his experience as well being married to somebody who has an ostomy and you know he hasn't seen everything he wasn't there when i actually got the ostomy but he was there for the barbie butt surgery so um he got to share a little bit from his side too so when i see that come out i will share it with you but that was really cool um he's just super friendly and welcoming and i'm excited to see what he accomplishes. We also got to see a few friends speak. Um, one of the first sessions that we went to was, I think it was about favorite ostomy products. Um, I wish I could have filmed all of these to share with you guys, but uh, my friend Alyssa, Nate, and Chloe were the three that were part of this, and um, Chloe has actually been a very long time viewer of my channel, so I'm very, I'm just grateful for that, but um, yeah, they got to speak on that subject. There were many sessions uh, going on. There was a young adult track, there was uh, I think a pediatric track, and then just regular track. And a lot of it is, you know, education. Um, there's also more lifestyle sessions. So that's more what Zach and I were attending was uh, more of the lifestyle. And obviously that's what we spoke on ourselves later on in the conference. When that day ended, Zach and I kind of just went back to our hotel room. Um, the really cool thing is we loved Houston. Like it is a very cool city. It was hot. It was around 106 degrees and um, we had two dogs. So we were walking them outside in this heat. It was wild, but we kind of learned around the hotel where we could go to take the dogs and we figured out our little routine. Uh, so we were out in the heat a lot and I went through a lot of liquid IV, so much liquid IV. Uh, grateful I got a new pack before we left. So by the end of that first day of just like figuring out that routine, went back to the hotel and fell asleep. The next day, Zach spoke on caring for a female with an ostomy. And we were both a little, like, I don't know, confused about the direction that this would take because there are a lot of aspects for caring for a female and a male that go together, like, are the same. Um, so I was thinking, like, oh, maybe you could talk about the proctocolectomy surgery and how I had issues with you know my reproductive health and all that I, I wasn't really sure um the talk kind of took a different turn and thankfully he was speaking alongside a nurse and that nurse handled a lot of the questions because he was getting questions that he was not qualified to answer um so it was sort of interesting but i'm glad i got to see him he he kind of paved the way for us to speak the next day. We also went to the exhibit hall that day and it was bumping, okay? There was a lot going on, there was a lot of people. We walked around and I actually got to meet a few people that have watched me on YouTube, which was crazy. I kept, I kept tearing up after I'd walk away, of course, but I kept like wiping my eyes because it was just so cool. And then I got to meet Megan of EMC Brown on Instagram. Um, I uploaded a little short yesterday so you can see her there a little bit more, but we have known each other for a long time. We worked for the same company years ago and we've known each other online but haven't met in person. So finally got to meet her. She is a heck of a lot taller than me um, as you'll see in videos. Also got to see Molly Ali Ostomy and her husband Thomas. Um, I've seen them before, I, I've met them in person and they are awesome. So had a really good time in the exhibit hall. And then 
Later that night, Zach and I were actually invited out to dinner uh, with somebody that I have worked with again for a few years online, haven't met in person, but they happen to live in Texas. So they were coming out to the Ostomy conference and they took us out to dinner, which was so nice. Um, it was lovely to finally meet him and his wife and we had an awesome night. The next day we had our talk and our talk was on relationships when somebody within the relationship has an ostomy. Um, and I was preparing in my head what I thought would be helpful. I asked you guys what you thought would be helpful in this chat. And actually what it wound up turning into was more of a group discussion. I was grateful. The room, you know, we had a decent number of people there, thank goodness, because I was afraid nobody was going to show up um, while simultaneously praying that nobody would come so I wouldn't have to talk. <laughs> but it was awesome. Everybody there contributed. So it was really just a big group discussion and Nate actually got a little bit of footage. So thank you to him uh, for taking this video of Zach and I chatting. <laughs> Your sheets are destroyed, man. <laughs> 20 minutes of one day of one year is yeah, not a lot of time, was, so. Yeah, and you put it into perspective that it really wasn't, that wasn't going to be our life. And, uh, knew pretty quickly that he was going to be the one, so. It was really cool to hear from everybody's perspective on, you know, how they manage their relationships with an ostomy, and not just the ostomy, but all of the other health stuff that is included when you have a condition that requires an ostomy. Um, so yes, there were many sessions that day, though. We attended a number of them, and by the end of that day is really when I just kind of quieted up and Zach handled a lot of the talking. We actually met a few new people that were, you know, new to the conference, had had their surgery, but it was their first time coming to one of the UOAA conferences. And yeah, it was, it was very nice. Now, usually on the last day of the conference, there is some sort of dance or dinner to kind of finalize everything and, and celebrate another good conference. And Zach and I were planning to attend, but one of my friends that was at the conference for a very short time wound up getting sick and having to go to a local hospital. And uh, she was admitted, so a number of us went to go visit her and Zach and I were gonna leave to go to this dance and we wound up just staying and hanging out with her. <laughs> and we had a great time, and I think that was really just the perfect way to end the conference, at least for me. It was quiet, I was hanging out with somebody that I was hoping to hang out with at the conference, but you know, different, different scenery, totally fine. So that was kind of the conference. It really is a mixture of education and, um, you know, getting to know products during the day and then socialization at night. The thing about it is though, is that that was not the end of our stay in Texas. I was very fortunate to be able to see my best friend, um, the person that I've talked about a number of times on this channel, the person that pulled me into the bathroom, my first day back at school with an ostomy, the girl that demanded to see the stoma, even though I had a clear bag on and my incision on my belly was fresh. And the girl that named my stoma Leroy. So <laughs> I got to see her again. Um, she's actually pregnant, so very excited about that. She's having a little baby girl, but got to see her and her husband. We got together for the whole day and they treated us to a lot still kind of mad about it, but we went to NASA and her husband is very educated on all things space and NASA because he works with that stuff. So it was kind of like getting a bit of a private tour, which was super cool. Um, we took some goofy photos as we always do. Then we went to a brewery. Um, obviously Kelsey did not partake, <laughs> but the rest of us did. And then we went out to dinner at this really fancy place, tried all these different, um, I think it was like tapas, all these different dishes. It was delicious and we just had a really great time with them. And I was honestly a bit tearful uh, when we got back to our hotel because 
I'm not gonna see her for a while because she's in Texas and I'm in Pennsylvania. Her family's still in this area though, so I think she'll be back and maybe we'll plan another trip to Texas. I, I really liked Houston. I thought it was so cool. Just a cool city. But yeah, that was the UOAA conference and a little bit more of our experience in Texas. We had such a great time on this road trip. Obviously, we did have to get home, so you can expect one more video from me about our trip home because it took some turns, uh, got a little crazy in some parts, but <laughs> we had a good time and um, I'm just happy to share it with you guys. And definitely, if you have an ostomy uh, or some other type of diversion, definitely check out UOAA. Go to a conference if you're able to. You won't regret it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye, guys. Bye.